What is up YouTube? Welcome back, it's your buddy Technobot. So this is, you can see from Antec, it's a CPU cooler, you can see. So I bought this from Amazon and they got it delivered today. So I'm gonna use it. First of all, let me tell you why do I need this. So let's keep it aside. And uh, here it is. It's a stock cooler from Intel, you can see. It's for i5, i3, i7, all the uh, stock coolers are same just like this. This aluminium heat sink and 60 or 70 mm this uh, cooler fan, the old volt with the 0 0.60 ampere. Uh, that's it. And uh, this is the old one. This one's leg is broken. So I've removed it. I'm using another stock cooler. So the problem with the stock cooler is it is not uh, some kind of heavy metal or heavily built anything, nothing like that. It's a simple aluminium and you can see all the gaps in there and uh, the fins at the end. That's it. It's uh, not so thick, just like this, maybe one inch or a little bit more than that. And at the middle, there is not even a copper base or anything like that so now the problem with this thing is it stays on the motherboard just like this if your motherboard stays here uh, there on this side there will be the all the input and output sockets and here the ramps are going to be there and at the, this side there will be the graphics card so when this fan rotates it pushes the air downwards to the heatsink and the air goes through the fins and they spread all over around all around everywhere so blows the hot air to the ramps too and if you have the graphics card here and with no back uh, metal panel uh, like i have in gtx 960 then this hot air will uh, blow that uh, graphics card too which is not a good thing well many people use this stock cooler just like this like i was using till now it's not a big issue but it is an issue when you are using uh, your PC for a long time or when you're using it for heavy gaming or high-end graphics uh, that time the CPU gets too hot and uh, the stock cooler uh, doesn't have that capacity to cool it down uh, keep it at the level like that that's why I just showed you now the antique cooler so let's keep it aside now the story is over now let's unbox this so this is uh, this is from antique as you have seen and here you can see a few details it's the antique CPU cooler A40 Pro and the price is 2299 but on Amazon I got it for 1700 only so this is a cooler with four heat pipes you can see so here it says F40 Pro cooler silent LED fan for high performance heat pipes and universal socket compatibility so that's it it is you can use it for LG775 socket, 1150, 1151 socket, 1155, 1156, 1366, well mine is 1155, so I'm gonna, so I can use this. For MD, you can use it for FM2, FM1, M3, M3, M2, M2, M4, all the sockets. So basically you can use it on any motherboard, I guess and the uh, other stuff are here you can see fan speed 800 to 2200 rpm and the uh, overall dimension and weight is 470 gram which is much more than this stock cooler in service life 50,000 hours and fan spindle bearing liquid state bearing and all the stuff so and noise is 16 dB to 23 dB which is when it is uh, installed inside the cabinet and 
it's very good and this is completely sealed back you can see this plastic over it and also you can see the company seal is here antique original authentic so let's open this thing all right so this is the instruction manual it is pretty tiny one and this is a cooler this is the bottom side and this is gonna sit on the CPU this one's things are uh, quite a good strong not uh, fragile uh, like the other one well there is another one and take uh, 830 I guess CPU cooler that uh, has two heat pipes and uh, that that one's price uh, was around 800 but that one's uh, fins were not so good many people did comment on the Amazon so I didn't buy that I bought this one and uh, let's see what else inside the box what is up YouTube welcome back it's your buddy Techno Boy so this is you can see well this is the Antec logo and this is the universal bracket that gonna set on all type of motherboard I guess and this are the screws and all the stuff to mount this bracket on the motherboard and this is the heatsink compound it's uh, golden in color uh, whatever I'm not gonna use this one anyway let me show you mine well this is the one that I'm gonna use it's a heatsink compound it's HY510 and it's a 30 gram of uh, this thing and uh, I bought this from Amazon and this has very good response from the experts so I bought this one and this one has very good conductivity so already I have used this one on my uh, graphics card and the processor before I install another stock cooler that time so this is a very nice thing I'm gonna use this one all right so that's it that was the unboxing and the little video of uh, the CPU cooler and I hope you guys understood all I wanted to say about the cooler stock cooler and this one so thanks for watching guys uh, hit the like button if you like it hit it just like this and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with all your friends see you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye